Hey guys, I'm Tiffany. Now, the book skeptic. I'm actually gonna be filming on my phone today, so that'll be interesting, you know. It's probably gonna be much shakier than the tripod, but uh, uh, so today we are gonna talk about the one book I've read this year. So technically, this is a February wrap up, but it's also the only book I've read so far. So let's get into it. The one book I read this year was Believe Me. Now, let me tell you what Believe Me is about. To the world, she is formidable. To me, she is the world. It's been two weeks since Juliet and Warner toppled the reestablishment for good. Everyone at the sanctuary is working round the clock to stabilize the world in the aftermath. Warners think about more than politics. Since Juliet accepted his proposal just before the reestablishment's fall, he's been eager for the two of them to officially begin their lives together. But it's been hard to find time and space for joy amidst so much chaos. With resources running low and stress running high at the sanctuary, it seems like the wedding may be postponed. Even Juliet is distracted by all they have to do as the leaders of the new world. Warner has endured so much, and happiness with the love of his life is now finally within reach. Will he be able to grasp it once and for all? The one good thing I can mention about this is... Now, I know there are a lot of people, they did not like this cover. They thought... I don't know why, they just hated it. But honestly, I loved this cover. I thought it was really good. I enjoyed it. Obviously, I'm popular opinion. But anyway, so here are my thoughts on the book. Now, again, Shatter Me is definitely not my thing. Yes, I did do a reread of Shatter Me book one and ended up being good. I rated it three stars instead of one. But just... Overall, the series is bad. It's just not good. And I don't understand why people like it so much. I mean, good for them. But I'm definitely not going to be one with your party, okay? Okay, so let me just mention what my notes are, what my thoughts, anything. So on page 60, uh, Warner ends up finding this dog. And so, like... You know, he's all technical and stuff, so, like, he knows some things. But the fact that he mentions, like, okay, fine. He finds out. He knows if it's a boy or a girl. Fine. I can deal with that. But then he has to mention that the dog was neutered. I just, why did we need to know that? I don't think we need to know that at all. I, I just thought that was really weird and kind of gross. Very much not a fan. I really hated the fact that that was included in the story. Off to a great start. And then we got another note on page 63. So Juliet is gone and Warner is just wallowing as per usual. And he's like saying he would trade the quiet for the regular chaos. If only so that Juliet would be by his side. It's like, oh my gosh, guy, like, can't you exist on your own? Like, seriously, codependent much? Like, honestly, relax, chill. Like, mmm. Okay, so, page 71. I never got into this to heal the planet, I say sharply. I have never pretended to care about the future of our pathetic civilization. And if you ever took me for a revolutionary, that was your mistake. I see now that I have to make something clear. So remember this. I would happily watch the world go up in flames if anything happened to her. And if that's not enough for you, you can go to hell. Like, that, I like that. That is, that's kind of like why people like villains. The hero will easily sacrifice you if you were to love them for the world. But a villain will destroy the world to save you. Like, they... Their number one priority is you, and your average hero is all about the world, and they don't care that much about you. Like, they care, but they don't care enough to, like, do, you know, 
if, if it was to sacrifice something in the world, they're not going to do that. But a villain would. And obviously, Aaron is not a villain, but he is definitely more morally gray, or at least he has no problem doing not so good things, especially, you know, if it's to ensure Juliet is okay. And just, that's what I want to see. Enough of this melodrama, like just be a badass and that's it. And so this is a point, um, actually it happens to be after a sex scene that they do. And I want nothing to do with that kind of content. So I skipped past that. Uh, but anyway, so now Juliet and Warner are with Kenji and who is he with? Winston. He's with Winston. Um, so they're with them and they've just been chewing Warner out, giving him all this crap. And so Kenji says, and what the hell are you smiling about? You've messed up our entire schedule, dickhead. We're an hour behind on everything now, all because- Stop! Ella says angrily, stop calling him names. He's not a dickhead. He's not a jackass. He's not self-absorbed. I don't know why you guys think it's okay to just say whatever terrible things you want about him to his face as if he's made of stone. You all do it. You all insult him over and over again and he just takes it. That's what I like to see. I like, I like to see Juliet defending him. And yeah, that's what's so terrible about this book. It's rough it's sad you know we just follow warner in his melodrama until like the very 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 end of the book and it's like who wants to be miserable and especially with like a cover like this like it looks like it's gonna be all sweet it's gonna be romantic fluffy something and instead is like oh misery and then, of course, like I said, the sex scenes. But, so, come on! Like, why can't we be happy? Honestly. Okay, so. Aaron is thinking this to himself. What I hate, perhaps more than anything else, is that it doesn't stop. The demands on her body never stop. It doesn't seem to matter what side of history we're on. Good or evil... Everyone asks for more of her. Even now, after the fall of the reestablishment, the people and their leaders still want more from her. They don't seem to care that she's only one person or that she's already given so much. The more she gives, the more they require, and the quicker their gratitude shrivels up. The desiccated remains of which become something else altogether, expectation. If it were up to them, they'd keep taking from her until they bled her dry. And I will never allow that to happen. And, oh, whoops. Uh, page 105 is that. Um, yeah, like, it's a good point of what he's talking about. The fact that uh, if you are the protagonist, if you are, like, the hero, and you happen to be, like, the saving grace and what people need or whatever, yeah, like, it just doesn't stop. And... You know, it's kind of nice to see that in a book that, like, they kind of talk about that where it's like, oh, you know, enough expecting her to do everything. She's a human being, too. So, yeah, like, I think some aspects of Aaron Warner are still there, but a lot has been missing. So those are my notes on the book. Uh, whew. yeah, the book is not good. And I never expected it to be good, you know. Again, Shatter Me in general, I don't like. But obviously, the continuation of the series, clearly, Tahara Mafi, she just, she's lost it. She has lost her ability to write that world. That world is gone for her. And I don't know why she keeps thinking to herself that she could keep doing it. Clearly, it is not working. Uh, hopefully this means she's stopping. Unfortunately, there are fans that don't seem to comprehend that this continuation is garbage, awful. Whatever the case, hopefully that's the end. If it's not, you can count on this. I will not read it. Doesn't matter if I want to do a hate read, which I don't even do those. But if I were to do a hate read, I wouldn't. I would not do that. 
for the series. The only reason I read this is uh, I happen to have the book on my wish list and I forgot I had it on my wish list. So, you know, a friend got it for me. So it's like, okay, well, I have the book. I might as well read it. And it's only like 177 pages. So I'm like, ah, it can't hurt. It did hurt. It 100% hurt. But it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. You know, it's over now. And at least I read a book this year, I guess. And now, you know, all 11 stories are done with the Shatter Me series. I've read them all and, you know, I 100% know that series is not for me. It's not good. Clearly, I do not relate at all to a lot of these Shatter Me fans because they like Kenji. How can you like Kenji? He's so whatever. Like, and also the fact that they're like, oh, Kenji, he's so funny. Where is the humor? Honestly, I, I do not understand. I cannot relate to what these people are seeing. Uh, you know, the only character of this series that I like is Warner. And it's one of those things where I seem to really like the characters that are cold or at least removed from a bad story because it's almost like it's almost like having me in the in the story it's like i don't even want to be here and like just being rude and mean to everyone because it's like yeah these characters suck no one you know yeah so you know i can relate to a character like that because it's like oh this book sucks and then there's a character that hates almost everyone else it's like yes yeah, give them the sass, you know, give them the salt, everything. Um, so yeah, this, uh, this book, um, yeah, no, bad, bad, bad. Uh, you know, at least now that I have the full collection, hopefully I can sell it on my Depop, you know, we'll see. <sighs> there are people that keep on wanting it to split, but it's like, hey, if I give them all the books, they can read it, you know? I, I will see what happens. But anyway, um, I guess it's fine that I read this. I don't know how I feel. I mean, I know how I feel. It's just one of those things where it's like, was it worth reading? Absolutely not. But at least I read something. Another thing too, I'm not going to rate this. I mean, obviously, as you could tell, clearly I hate it. But I'm not going to rate things one through five stars anymore. I guess if things... You know, if things get better, certain books end up surpassing my expectations and I end up loving it. Maybe I'll add some five-star, four-star ratings. I don't know, but I just... Enough with, like, the ratings. If I like it or don't, that's it. That's all I need to worry about. So, yeah, those are my thoughts on Believe Me. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye! Bye! <laughs>